chosen to get money from the crowd. It doesn't mean that you've just written off the experience and, uh, and add value that an angel or a VC can bring. But what it means that you're looking for a different type of value. So particularly with food and beverage or with consumer goods, that type of value is spreading the word about the product, talking about you know the business that you're investing in and being proud of that. I mean, Chapel Down Wines, the company that we were, we were talking about earlier, they not only got 1,500 new investors, they got 600 new consumers who then went out and told their friends and family. There's a ton of value in crowdfunding. We didn't have it raised a whole ton of money uh, from you know, our founder of eBay and a couple months before. Uh, it's been massive for us. But I think some of the more exciting stuff will come out of some of the more fundamental technologies. We talked tonight about blockchain and how that can change financial markets, financial systems, and actually move away from an age of institutions and towards an age of decentralization. So I think that's the real macro trend to watch for, which will absolutely impact financial services, but also impact right across a whole load of different areas. It's not always just a matter of good and bad individuals, it's also a matter of the way you, the way you act as a team and whether you cover off the capabilities as well as um, you know, who's putting in the effort and really putting the hard yards. Have you got the grafter, Gene? You know, are you going to hard graft and will you maintain a humility around your people because at the heart of everything are inevitably people? I won't invest unless I have a really clear passion about the product and ultimately you have to be able to lead and, and like and relate to lots of people so the chameleon of being able to be a salesperson. One of the things I love is when when founders are kind of like a steely kind of quiet confidence they're pitching their business you know they know that, that uh, we might not invest we might you know maybe they haven't even got other options so if we say no it's going to be it's going to make life a lot more difficult for them. But they're like, you know, they're kind of relaxed because they know, they know in their heart that they're going to make this thing a success anyway. The future for them is, is like, it's inevitable.